Good job. What's your favorite part about staying at a Canadian Walmart? No idea. I think I know. What do you think I'm going to say? What? What do you think? You got to guess. Uh, the toilet shop? <laughs> no. Starts with a W. And the second one is an M. Walmart. And then the third letter is a G. WM guest. That's not your favorite? The free Wi Fi? I'm pretty sure the free Wi Fi is your favorite thing here. Look at that tire is taller than you. Oh boy, it's almost exactly the same height as Luca. Those tires are like balloons. There we go. What is it? It has a big butt. And it's Oh yeah. Rain last night. See how much water is up there. There it goes. Oh my god, there's a lot of water. Is that the blue nose? Maybe not. This is paid parking. This is a Teresa E. Connor. A really short mast. Gaff rigged. One of them has no shirts. And it looks like very hard work. Yeah. Fisheries Museum of the Atlantic. Luca got trapped. How are you going to get out? I want to make a Luca roll. What? Yeah. 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 Does it look like he's sideways? He's flat. He's flat, but his eyes are still hard to be on the He's flat. Oh my god. He's swimming sideways. Yeah. That's how he is. This looks like he's swimming normal, but he's actually sideways here. Yeah. Since so the halibut's eyes are located on the right side of its pancake-shaped body, <laughs> they're bottom dwellers. And they eat up to 12 so inches. Creepy. They eat worms and crustaceans. Wolffish. Atlantic wolffish. He looks like a wolf? <laughs> Does he look like a wolf a little or no? Does anybody know the word solitary means? Nope. He's by himself. He's like a lone wolf. Lone wolf. So then he doesn't go in a group. He's getting foggy. Look at him. Where's the lobster? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I think, I mean. What's happening? No, when they turn red, they're cooked. Ew. The pictures they have them always red. Because the they're cooked. When, no, when, when they're alive in those tanks, they're not that blue. I guess not, but they're kind of, they're not red. Yes. Is that a real lobster? Yeah, he used to live in the aquarium, up to 25 pounds. But the oh largest God. ever caught here was 44 pounds. Ava. So the largest ever caught is like Four. almost twice the size of this guy. You can see his, his claws, how oh, they're yeah. different here. Which, this is the chomper, this is the grabber. This one cuts, this one grabs. This one looks like scissors. Huh? Yeah. This one looks like a vice grip. I do not want to see this guy in the water. Well, I don't think in the wild they... Well, maybe they grow up bigger. This is in the wild. They yeah, they grow up bigger in the wild, I guess, if they don't get caught. Up, please. Atlantic salmon. Mama, up, please. Can I breathe for a long time?
swim in the water? They use gills. They don't have lungs, so their gills can get oxygen out of the water. What is it? Crab with a hundred legs. <laughs> Is this scary? Yeah. Number six. How do porcupine fish inflate themselves? All puffer like fish inflate by pumping water into special sacs when in their natural environment. Out of water, a puffer fills the sacs with air instead, it takes on a balloon like appearance. A <laughs> balloon. What are you guys touching? Starfish? How are you so comfortable? What do you say, buddy? Oh, there's a lobster over there. There's a lobster. Did you guys get to see the lobster? It's open up. Oh, God. It looks so different outside of a roll. Anybody want to hold this? Me. Okay, you can't let go of it, okay? Don't you have to put it in the water? Right over here. And this is Santa Claus. See if he opens. So you guys can actually explore the rest of the museum on your own. Let's see if he opens. He's going to squirt at you. Oh, he's breathing. Ooh. I'm scared it's going to turn and pinch me somehow. Magic. Sidewalker. There he goes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> See all the black dots inside? Yeah. Those are all eyes. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh. So, oh. <laughs> what's making the shell open and close is the adductor muscle. That's how they swim. Yeah. So if I pop them up here, he'll open up a little bit more. We'll be able to get a good look at those, at those eyes. Yeah. But, yeah. Whoa! Ah, you feel the move. I think he's upside down. Yeah? Huh? Is he upside down? Yeah, he's upside down. Yeah. Yeah. That's where Nemo lives. Doesn't he live in an anemone? Yeah. yeah. But their scientific name is American Lobster. But it's kind of like an albino deer. It's just a, just a genetic thing. Oh, wow. So they've only got the three color things, that red, yellow, and blue. So if they're missing the others, the ones really dominant, you'll get these unusual colors. So he's kind of a mutation a little bit? Yeah, yeah, look at that way. Yeah, one in two million, and they kind of make six o'clock news. Cool. They make a big deal about it. And, they, and he, they, that one just lives here full time? He does, yeah. yeah. He came in, I think, 2010. That's what it looks like. Oh, like cool. It opens up. It's very fluffy. Yeah, that's the part what part of him right open up, the middle? Yeah, exactly. He'll kind of stretch out, and he'll open up. Okay. And they can slide across the wall. He, would, he, he came in on a rock, and so we were able to get him in here, and then he kind of slid off onto the wall. Hmm. But he started off over here, probably right where your hand is, pretty much. You can see the little marks up there on the wall. And he moved over there. You know how long it took him? Two days. Is he constantly moving, or do they just no, decide to move yeah, wherever he wants to? No, they decide to move, and they'll kind of pick a new spot, and he's there for a while, and then he'll move again. He looks like a Picasso painting. Dots, they all have that. Yeah. It's called the madreporite. It's basically a sieve plate. It allows the sea water into their body, but it filters out other things. Yeah. So these guys don't have any blood. They're all filled with sea water. Oh, you can't see them. Oh, don't them. Yeah. Yeah. music and dance. the native people built the canoes they use it to paddle around here this is the 
birch bark that they use to skin the outside. It looks like it's good to make paper with this. Yeah. Too bad the blue nose too is not here at the moment. It is over at Cape Breton, which is where we're going to be. And by the time we leave Cape Breton, it'll be back here. So unless we see it in Cape Breton, we're not going to see it here. We're not going to see. We're not going to see the blue nose too at all. So hopefully we'll be able to find it while we're over at Cape Breton side of uh, Nova Scotia. We're going to go on the Teresa E. Connor instead, which is a similar schooner to the Blue Nose. And I think we can go under too. Go under the deck. Well, I guess it, this smells better than the car <laughs> So you want to live in a boat instead of a car? I know. We're trying to watch out for it. Just wait then. Oh, I'm here. Food in here and everything. Look at the old apples. Yeah, this is where they kept the food. Must be old. Onions and potatoes. It? I don't know. And this is where they ate. This is called the Four Castle. Look at all the bunks. How many people can you sleep here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen bunks. Yeah, it's close. You can just roll out of bed and eat. Kind of like how we are in the truck camper. <laughs> Wood stove right here to keep it nice and warm and then cook food. And I found cooking utensils. Cooking utensils. Sink. Hippo oil. Hippo. Hippo. <laughs> yeah, hippo oil. Big old engine room. And more bunks back here. Little chart table room. One, two, three, four, five. So total 21 bunks. That's Teresa E. Connor. Boat was named after her. Two fishermen slips side by side. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, there's two guys sleeping right now. Last piece of mahogany smoked meats jerky that we've been carrying around. After this, it is gone.